Welcome back once again to m and Ambassadors, becoming the USP, the ultimate sales professional. Now, we've been talking about points to keep in mind, some tips that can make your presentations a lot more effective. Today, I'd like to share two or three more tips that are vital to you making good presentations. The first is learn to use lockdowns or tie downs during your presentation. The tie down is typically a good positive statement ended by with a question a short little question to get them to say yes the tie downs could be positive they could even be negative that's perfectly fine but the net result for the client will always be a positive one so some examples so before i give an example so let me repeat that you make a sentence or a statement and you follow it with a short little question so here are a couple of examples here this opportunity makes sense doesn't it so you will use a positive and then put a question. Makes sense, doesn't it? That's a classic tie down. Great view, isn't it? Another example of a tie down, okay? Uh, really peaceful neighborhood, isn't it? These are examples of tie downs. Now, negative tie downs is where you want the client to say no, but it is good for you. Ahmed, you don't want to pay more at a later stage, do you? So that is an example of a negative tie down. You don't want to lose out on the best views and plots, do you? They'll have to say no, which is good for you. So tie downs are quick confirmations you can get from the client that they are with you on what you're presenting. Try using them and you'll be surprised at how easy it is to get clients to lean in the favor of making the decision. Now, Another thing that I'd like to talk about is be very selective in which benefits or USPs you're going to present in the unit, the tower or the community. You see the communities in Dubai are among the best in the world and they offer multiple lifestyles for different types of people coming into the community. Not all of it is attractive to every single family. While they are attractive to the community, they might not be of particular interest to that particular family. So you have anyway done your qualifying and understood what they're looking for and the dominant buying motives. Focus only on that because that is what is important and the dominant reason to buy is there. They will make the decision on that. Just because there are 20 other benefits in the community is not going to make them make a decision. What's even worse, when you start talking about all of these benefits in there, the client actually gets confused. Their main reason they came to look at this community is now lost. It is hidden among so many other reasons why this is such a great community. You will only make the decision making process more difficult for them. So don't do that. Resist the urge. Sometimes it's just nerves. And we feel if we tell them about all these benefits, a client would be more inclined to buy. Not true. Because when so many benefits are talked about, the key reason he wants to buy is not at the front of his mind. It's just mixed with so many things. So qualify correctly, identify what in your community takes care of the need of the client. From experience, I can tell you this confidently, 20% of the benefits or amenities in a community will take care of over 80% of your client's needs. Find those 20%. Focus on them and you will close your deal. Now, another point that I would like to talk about is, please slow down, slow down. For some reason, I don't get it. Brokers take off like a rocket. Remember, you have presented this community 200 times. The client is looking at it for the first time. He's still trying to even process the size of the community. Where are the different features or the services in the community? He hasn't got it. Remember the first time you ever went to a sales center or the first time you ever went to a community. If you're in the secondary market, you were overwhelmed. There was just too much for you to take in and it took you multiple visits and presentations before you actually understood the magic of that community. Why would you expect that your client gets it all the first time? So slow down. Slow down because they're trying to process and while you are speaking, you can easily associate that benefit with their need. They're trying to make the connect. So give them the time to do that. Don't present just to present. 
present to influence people to make a decision. Now, the second reason why you have to slow down is you need to remember not all clients have English as their first language. So, they're struggling to understand the size of this community and everything you're presenting. And they're also struggling to process and understand the words that you're using. Probably your first language is not English. So there's a lot that can actually go wrong at a very critical point in the presentation. So slow down. Remember when you drove your car and came to work today, you didn't think about what was going on in the car. You just got and hit the button and you reached because you've done it so many times. But remember the first time you went to buy a car, you sat down in the car in the showroom and you were actually looking all around to figure out where are the buttons. That's exactly what's happening when you're presenting now. You push the button and off you go. And the client is still trying to figure out where are the buttons on this thing. So slow down. You will never lose your client. You'll actually get them to understand and relate better to the community and they will be in a stronger place to make the buying decision. Thank you once again for joining us on m and Ambassadors, Becoming the USP, the Ultimate Sales Professional. I'll see you on the next episode.